guys, so it is 11.05 p.m. and I am at the gym with Riley again. So we're gonna be doing some deadlifts and high bar squats and stiff leg deadlifts and all that stuff. I'll be doing my voiceover so that you guys can hear the things that I wanna work on, the things that I've improved with my deadlifts. Riley, my boy, is gonna be filming for me. If you guys wanna see me uh, do my third, third lower day, then stay tuned. So truth be told, this footage is actually from last week, but I wanted to save it for this week. So I'm just starting off with a warm up of 135, which I like to do every week. And then <laughs> right around here, ooh, there you go, Jazz. Keep it together, keep it together. <laughs> I almost fell over. But I sped through these sets, these first few at least, uh, just because I do so many more sets after this that I didn't feel it was necessary to waste your guys' time watching me the whole time through. Um, but I can tell you guys, as far as my deadlifts go, they have felt amazing I feel like I've improved so so much in this area from when I first started I did notice that last week I was starting to kick my knees underneath the bar on the way to the top I think I've corrected it at this point I'm very aware of that now I don't really know why I was doing that I think it was like the first time that I started overthinking deadlifts and I started to do that but in general deadlifts are feeling amazing my last set here I just did 160 for one I was really pleased with how good it felt being that I was PMSing this week, ladies, you can relate. But high bar squats were a totally different story. These were pretty hard for me. I don't know about you guys, but when I warm up with the bar, this is like my time to get all of my mistakes out. And I just feel like I watch this right now and I'm like, what am I doing? My, I just like super like, I'm not bracing my core. I'm just kind of like loosely moving around. But it's okay because as the weight, uh, you know, gets heavier, my form starts to get better. These I am very excited about. High bar squats was my go-to. I started with high bar squats and then I switched over to low bar. And what's great about that is it has completely corrected my hyperextension. Basically, I was just like curving my back way too much when I was doing squats. I kind of had like a duck duck booty thing going on so I still have it just a little bit but if you compare my previous squat videos to now my high bar form has improved drastically so I'm super excited about that and here I was just doing I want to say 135 uh, pounds for reps of five speaking of high bar squatting or just squatting in general uh, I was doing squats actually just this week at my gym and this guy came up to me in these tiny little shorts and he was like Hey, I wasn't watching or anything, but I was watching you squat. First off, cool bro, <laughs> way to completely contradict what you just said. But anyway, he told me that he felt like I needed to be looking up when I was squatting. He was like, I want to see you like looking all the way up at the ceiling. And I'm just looking at him nodding like, dude, okay, please just stop. I appreciate people trying to give me their feedback, but for the most part, I'm not asking for it. Just leave me be. Anyway. Has that ever happened to you guys? Let me know in the comment section below and how you handled that because that was the first time it's actually happened to me. Anyway, here I am doing some Romanian deadlifts with dumbbells. Obviously this is last week so I was working with 60 pounds, 30 pound dumbbells and this week I was actually able to move up to 37.5. So I normally work between a 10 to 15 rep range, three to four sets on these bad boys. For those of you unfamiliar with this workout, this is an excellent hamstring workout. As I'm doing these, as the dumbbells are going down, I'm mainly looking for that pull in my hamstrings and then I drive my hips forward and squeeze my glutes at the top. So the last thing that I ended up recording or having Riley record for me was my leg extensions and I did about three to four sets of 70 pounds for 10 to 15 reps. By the time I finish all of my other stuff, I am extremely toast, but that was it. I'm about to talk to you guys. You guys are about to see my face in like five, four, three, two. When you want to focus, you're more than welcome to. We have finished up our workout. It is, let's, let's show you guys what freaking time it is. Can you read that? Mm. No, it's not happening. You guys aren't going to be able to read the time. It is about to be one o'clock in the morning. And uh, so you guys saw everything that I did. Hopefully you enjoyed the commentary. I'm getting a pretty positive response on these videos, so I'll keep doing them as long as you guys are enjoying them. I think that's the great thing about uploading this content is some of you guys get feedback. A lot of you guys are very freaking positive and I absolutely adore that about the community that I'm building is that it's very rare. It's very, very rare that we have people that come in and try and be total assholes. And when they are, you guys are like, yo, 
quit it. We're here to be positive. Anyway, I just want to say that that encourages me to keep putting up videos like this because we're all in this together. We're all trying to get strong together. And this is to prove that th there is a base that has to be made before you just start deadlifting 300 pounds or 250 pounds or even 135 pounds. There's a base that needs to be built. And I think that is why I enjoy uploading to show you guys that I'm not there yet. Like, I'm, I'm working to get there, and we, we are all in this together. That's all I really have to say. So, it's 1 o'clock a.m. Me and Riley are gonna go do some cardio. Since I didn't do cardio the past few days like I should have, I have to do like 750 kcals, which is gonna blow, but you gotta do what you gotta do. You gotta get the results you wanna get. Anyway, that's it for this video. I hope that you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it, and let me know in the comment section below some things that you feel like you need to work on when it comes to your squats and your deadlifts. Just little tweaks that you feel like you need to work on. Sometimes I feel like it's good to vocalize those things. Like I said, that is the end of this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Be sure to give it a thumbs up. If you're not subscribed, you should probably do that. I love you guys to absolute pieces and I'll be seeing